the guy who has Americans of all stripes galloping like drunken horses, now at the center of a raging controversy. We're talking, of course, about Psy, the South Korean rapper behind the Gangnam Style dance craze. It has now come out that in his younger days, Psy engaged in some vitriolic anti-Americanism. This news comes just as he's about to perform for the president. And ABC's Mohamed Leela is here with the story. Mohamed, good morning. Well, good morning, Dan. Sign his team are in full damage control this morning after revelations, as you say, of a shocking anti-American performance several years ago. It comes just one day before he's scheduled to perform at a special Christmas concert with President Obama and his family in attendance. Open Gangnam Star. He's the star creator of the most watched YouTube video of all time in the dance that swept the nation Gangnam Style. Now, Korean rapper Psy is fighting off controversy. It has to do with this. In 2004, after a Korean missionary was killed in Iraq, Psy performed at a protest concert, singing along to another band song called Dear American, including these lyrics. Kill those bleeping Yankees who've been torturing Iraqi captives. Kill their daughters, mothers, daughters-in-law, and fathers. If you were sitting around making up horrible things that a pop star could say that would get them in trouble, you'd have a hard time coming up with worse things than this. But it turns out Psy is no stranger to controversy. After two Korean students were killed in an accident with a U.S. tank, he performed at a concert where he smashed a model U.S. tank in response. For Psy, it's a PR nightmare. He's made millions of dollars from Gangnam Style, becoming so popular, he headlined this year's American Music Awards, made a video with Heidi Klum. He's even appeared on Ellen and The View and even The Tonight Show in front of American servicemen and women. Remarkable for someone whose breakout video isn't even in English. Now he's distancing himself from the controversy, saying in a statement, the song I was featured in from eight years ago was part of a deeply emotional reaction to the war in Iraq and the killing of two Korean schoolgirls that was part of the overall anti-war sentiment shared by others around the world at that time. I will forever be sorry for any pain I've caused by those words. Now, in that apology, Sai points out that he went to school and lived in the United States and that he understands the sacrifices American servicemen and women have made. Now, as for tomorrow's concert, the White House confirms President Obama will attend, saying it's not up to them who gets invited to perform. Yeah, but from a PR perspective, it's going to be interesting That's to watch how this plays and out. And social media, how this yeah. will get picked right. I'm surprised it took this long for this to come out, yeah. social well, media. Apparently, this has been percolating in South Korea, but it's now hitting America big time.